Welcome to the Embedded World. I am here together with Jeff Hibbert. He is CEO at Interval Zero. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. Jeff, could you please introduce your company? For sure. Uh, Interval Zero, its primary solution is a product portfolio called RTX. And what RTX does is it transforms Microsoft Windows into a real-time operating system. Our vision is that uh, all machines in the future will be focused on, uh, we deployed a machine controlled with a Windows PC without any proprietary hardware. Okay, and where are you are based? We're headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States, but we also have offices in Nice, France, in Munich, Germany, and Ta Taipei, Taiwan. Jeff, which challenges do you see today for machine builders? So there's the primary challenge for anybody that's building an embedded system is to find the right architecture that will last them a decade or more. Many times when there's new technology being introduced, people don't know if they should change to the new architecture or stay with the right. old. And one example is right now, Internet of Things is a very popular topic and that people can see that everything is going to be connected together. And people are wondering, should they change their machine controllers to take advantage of this new trend? And which another trends do you see in the market today? So the Internet of Things is one as small aspect of overall many overall trends. But the, the primary trend that's going on is that Ethernet cables are now being able to deliver real-time capability that we talked about before. So there's the example of something called EtherCAT, which allows uh, motor, motors for the drives in a machine to be connected just by using EtherCAT. There's also something called Gig E, which again allows you to connect a camera just using better connectivity, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. And, and what are you doing better than your competitors in this area? So the solution, when you look at the overall platform, in order for you to be successful, is that you need to have on a single platform right. a, a, the user experience and HMI. You need to have the uh, vision system. You need to have the PLC, and you need to have the motion control. And if you have a single platform that can handle all of those, then you can be successful. What Interval Zero's RTX 64 brings to the table is that we have an SMP native capability. So you can use Windows for the user experience, but then you can use the RTX uh, to run your real-time vision, your real-time PLC, your real-time motion, all on one platform. Nobody else can do it from a single platform. Everybody else must use multiple components. And what are the best practices do you see in this area? So the best practices are uh, require that you have a, a, a foundation uh, with uh, an ecosystem of partners that all work together that can plug into that foundation. So in this environment, you need to have, for instance, a real-time image live vision image processing library in order for you to do the image processing. You need to have motion control libraries so that you can have the motion work. You need to have a PLC, and they all have to be able to plug into this framework and all be able to talk to each other. It's and all about connectivity, right? Exactly, yes. Okay, and Jeff, what are your future plans? So our goal is to continue to build a stronger ecosystem of all our partners to plug into our framework so that all the components work, and then our customers that use our software can just plug and play all the major components, from motion control to vision to PLCs uh, and so on. And it doesn't require any proprietary hardware. It's just software that runs on the P PC itself and is 100% uh, guaranteed performance. This sounds very, very good for customers. Well, thank you, Jeff, for this interview and for the insights in your company portfolio. Thank you, Carolina.